Mulvey is drawing on, on these uh, psychoanalytic ideas in uh, which uh, the female form potentially induces dread and um, revulsion, uh, horror uh, in the male spectator specifically. And uh, these ideas are, are drawn from this idea of castration anxiety. Uh, and uh, a lot of this is played out in Freud's essay on fetishism. In this essay on uh, fetishism, uh, Freud talks about this. Um, uh, Freud is discussing, in essence, the, uh, the discovery of sexual difference. And fetishism, in the simplest terms, act simply refers to an overvaluation of an object. That's it. The overvaluation of an object. Um, and so, actually, one of the kind of comical ways in which uh, Freud's uh, essay on fetishism begins is a discussion of a, of a patient who has a particular interest on, uh, in uh, pay, uh, people with uh, shiny noses and so um, you know so his his patient for whatever reason uh, is very attracted to people with shiny noses and so Freud tries to figure out okay what is going on here what 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 is this attraction um, and so the scenario is this Freud suggests that you know, you know, when the boy-child uh, discovers sexual difference, uh, this might happen, uh, for instance, when uh, the, the child is about to take a bath uh, with his mother. And so as uh, the boy looks up and discovers that, oh my God, mommy doesn't have one, that must mean that daddy took hers away and then that means that mine can be taken away too filled with dread and terror the boy child then averts his eyes looks away and fixates on underwear that's on the ground a shoe, a foot, whatever it might be. And so that object, uh, the fixation on that object, then becomes the replacement, the replacement penis. Because the little boy does not want to see mommy missing something, lacking. And so to make her whole again, uh, the child then fixates on this object which becomes the replacement, the fetish. The fetish again being the overvaluation of an object. Uh, in this case, a kind of a substitute penis. Now, again, I strongly encourage you to try to step back and to try to think about uh, these ideas in kind of more metaf metaphoric terms. Because, of course, if we take this and literally, it is quite silly. But in metaphoric terms, if we think about it, you know, the child does not want to view the mother as, um, as uh, lacking agency or power or control. And as a consequence, you know, we, uh, the subject then has to find uh, replacements uh, to make... Uh, uh, to make that thing whole again. So, again, it's it's not so much about specific biological um, traits, um, but rather that uh, that that the feminine and masculine position have cultural connotations, and so fetishism might be a way in which to negotiate. The difference between those those two connotations, the active and the passive position.